And the Director General of the Ghana Maritime Authority insists spending one million CDs to convert a two-bedroom house into a four-bedroom house is a value for money after strict auditing of the facility. Now, according to the Maritime Authority boss, fixing 11 air conditioners in his house does not reflect his status as Director General overseeing the country's maritime waters. Number 6, 5th Circular Road Apartment, located in Cantonment, recently refurbished. It is the official residence of the Director General of the Ghana Maritime Authority, renovated at the cost of 1 million cities. 1 million Ghana cities that has been used to renovate a two-bedroom house for the Director General. Tender process went through administration the bills of quantities was done by prestige so the director general could not have influenced the outcome and gave it to my friend and said increase the money so that when they do it i can have your so-called chop chop that building is now made out of four bedrooms of the main structure the main house a living room, a dining room, kitchen, a family room, a library, and a basement. He was emphatic. He deserves more. Some director generals have a house allocated to them and have even a separate guest house for entertainment. And if this director general or any other director general of Ghana Maritime Authority who superintend over the maritime industry in Ghana cannot have a four bedroom or five bedroom, then I say it's mediocrity. There are concerns about the source of funds for the project, which has since been completed. As authority at the beginning of his administration complained about his inability to support renting and accommodation for the Director General. 20% of my salary or any other predecessor who will come and take over will be paying, will be taking 20%. So over a period, it is going to pay for itself. The issue of the number of air conditioners in the house has also emerged. Each one of them to have an air conditioner will be 13. So the 11 is, is been not enough. And by the way, we don't put them all together. A director general who says he is unfazed about what he describes as smear campaigns but will focus on ensuring the authority attains the target of paying dividends to the state. Well,